back, and Mac is still with me. He hasn't run out the door yet, so he can't be that much of a wild child. I've been too busy boogieing on the seat here with you. Absolutely. We've got a real disco going here, guys. I want to uh, move on a wee bit um, to talk about um, his writing and his life of crime. But I also want to talk about something else before we get on to that, because I know, Mac, you are doing something very, very special, given the uh, issues with libraries being closed at the moment. Tell us what you're doing with your local library. Well, I'm lucky enough to be involved with the Collinsborough Galloway Library Trust. Wow. And uh, we've been faced with closure, as many libraries have. And our community got together and somehow ended up chairing it. And we've been doing a lot of work to get ourselves in position. We've reopened the library now. We have over 30 volunteers from a pretty small community. That's good. And we're looking for more. Uh, we have a vision. We have one of the finest old reading rooms probably anywhere in the east of Scotland. Maybe anywhere in Scotland because it's a small community library building that was built by a bequest in 1903. Yeah. And so it's a wonderful place with wonderful people and we are looking at how we can turn what was initially just a book place where you go and read a newspaper or sit and read books into somewhere that's a modern place for cultural and personal development. Yeah, I have to say, from what I've heard of it, it sounds like you're going to be doing some phenomenal work there, not just with keeping it open as a library, but as a, what did you call it, a reading hub or a reading room? Yes, I said we've got a reading room and we're looking at a micro-campus idea wow. where people can actually learn and develop who need it, like apprentices in the agricultural community, uh, or if they're doing the type of study where they might normally have to go away and they can't to, say, to university, yeah. we're hoping in time to build a connection with one of the local universities, or maybe all three of them, I'm thinking there of Dundee, Aberty, St Andrews, to Brilliant. provide support to people who want to develop in a more personal way uh, and basically allow any member of our community to find things they need to develop them. Yeah. And that includes, we also have people who want to do work with young children, book buddy and all that sort of thing. Yes. We've got a yoga teacher lined up to start teaching people yoga. Wow. Uh, we're looking at Tai Chi. We're looking at uh, ways in which if you want an old craft, we've got one of the finest blacksmiths in Scotland. Wow. Uh, we want to do things that really, really interest people. We've got a traditional Scottish cook who, forgive me for saying this, uh, is probably of the old school for sure. Yeah. And she's willing to do certain cookery demonstrations, really work with people on cooking. Real visionary stuff. So I think that's amazing.